water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. First of all, if you're not in a healthy relationship, I feel something really amazing coming in. And you have to be willing to embrace it. You have to be willing to say, I'm done with the rest. I'm ready for the best. Because something phenomenal is opening for you regarding relationships and something really enjoyable. So let's ask your question. Go ahead, give you a second. What's your question, water signs? Yes is a circle, no is back and forth. What do water signs need? What is their answer? You got no. Your question, the answer is no. Um, you have the ability to pay attention to your goals and totally go in on them like nothing else exists. With the right people and support around you, something phenomenal can happen. With that being said, there are parts of you that are still sabotaging yourself and not really welcoming in that community. Not even really welcoming in that love. You have the ability to hone in on something and completely create that life. It's just that you get uncomfortable. And sometimes you don't even realize you're allowing your emotions to get in the way. And nothing, there's nothing wrong with emotions. It's beautiful that you have these emotions, but you don't even realize when you're being emotional. Anger is an emotion. Um, annoyance, that's an emotion you need a break. <laughs> it's a feeling. Uh, it's a feeling, you know? Like, these are feelings, emotions. These are valid. And you have to call them what they are. I don't care if you feel betrayed, if you feel uh, minimized. Like, give it its name so that you can move out of it because you have this ability to really create something amazing. And uh, I feel like, I don't know if you want to go to Thailand or Korea or something like that. I feel like you guys are going to um, be traveling as well. Or maybe the person I'm talking about, because I keep feeling, I uh, pinch myself just to see if I'm awake or not. Could it be you and me? Jagged edge to the end of time. Wow. All right. So what do water signs need to surrender? Surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. That's where I think I said that in the beginning of the thing. Like if the person's not there, it's someone new. Because this is not old energy. And no one in your life has changed enough to bring this beautiful energy. Um, so trust yourself. Trust yourself moving forward. Don't let anyone sell you a dream that um, is actually a nightmare. <laughs> Don't let them pretend it's a dream when they are the nightmare. What else do water signs need to know for their weekend and week ahead? Practice gratitude more, water placements. Um, you don't even realize like the gifts and blessings you have around you right now to, uh, because you're in such a transformative limbo place. So practice your gratitude uh think about sit with yourself who do i have in my life that i'm grateful for stop looking at them like they could have done more or should have done more for you because you're in pain you need to hold yourself accountable and heal deeper you have such beautiful things happening it's just that when different things occur and you don't give them a name because your ego's in the way it's men it mentally takes over you guys you're relinquishing fear this this month and this week especially you're relinquishing fear like that person inside of you that was afraid to speak up that person inside of you that was afraid to say this is what I'm feeling this is what's going on 
um, is safe now and you need to remind that person of that. So assessing, you're assessing your life and this is also your guides assessing what is next for, for them. And boundaries. Um, you can also visualize a little bubble around you when you go into certain places and keep your boundaries with yourself. I'm not going to do this because this is what makes me uncomfortable, so on and so forth. But just be careful who you're around and you're not willingly be a, taking getting a ticket to hell, okay? Because I feel something so amazing coming in for you guys. You may meet this person this week, coming. And you're... Ah, your tea leaf cards. What did I say? Marriage. <sighs> Marriage came out. Bo, you are highly thought of. You may be doing also something a little different with your hair. I'm telling this person, this person's coming in and they're a different background than you. Butterfly, a change for the better. I think fire signs got that. I don't remember. And vase, secret admirer. I love when the cards line up. Secret admirer, butterfly, a change for the water signs. Please embrace this person, this new relationship, this new beginning. Because when I tell you, it's going to be so beautiful and healthy. I'm going to do a pendulum question for you. Is this person that is coming in water signs life their person, their soulmate? Yes. If you'd like to book a one-on-one, -on -one, the link is in my bio. The only way this person is already in your life is if they've been really healthy. This is not someone you've had to forgive multiple times, 